G'day, g'day, g'day. This is Charlie and I'm coming to you with your daily dose of business inspiration. Topic number 212, Habits, the Foundation of Self-Care. This is going to be a slightly mishmash episode. We are going to talk about habits, why they're important, We're going to talk, and we're going to talk about how they can help you build on your self-care and why that is important. Now, please forgive my casual nature today. It is, um, I'm recording this on a Sunday, actually. I've just been out for a fairly longish walk, had a ball, it was beautiful, it was bloody cold though. Sorry to my southern counterparts where I know it really is cold down there but it's cold up here for us and I wanted to get this stuff out of my head so rather than come back and have a shower and get get all, all dressed up and look nice for the camera I thought I'd just share something a little bit more casually with you and yes I have been to the Grand Canyon absolutely loved it, it was beautiful want to go back. What are habits? Why are they so important to us? Well, habits help us establish a routine. Developing daily habits provides structure and consistency, which is crucial for managing the unpredictable nature of entrepreneurship. For example, starting your day with a morning routine that includes exercise and a healthy breakfast can help set a positive tone for the rest of your day believe it or not even if that routine includes you know cuddling the cat or cuddling the kids or doing something it just helps set a positive routine a positive tone for the day you'll notice there that we talked about an exercise routine and a healthy breakfast so there's a couple of things about self-care that we need to touch on before we get into the rest of this episode. Self-care is about looking after ourselves. Yeah, I know, it should be self-evident. As entrepreneurs, though, I don't think we're great at looking after ourselves in general. We we tend to get, and I am talking generally here, I'm not talking about everyone does this and I'm not talking no one does this. I'm talking more generically. We We tend to get, eaten up in the daily grind or the daily hustle that is just running our businesses and managing our businesses. And if if you're a woman and you're looking at this, it's also being a mum makes that a little more challenging. Or if you're a single dad, it makes it a little bit more challenging because you've also got to look after the family as well. Uh, Now, I say mums particularly because mums tend to be the ones that it's just in our nature, I think, that we want to look after our kids and we want our kids to be happy and all those things. So we, we're trying to look after the kids. We're trying to look after the household. We're trying to look after our business. And and where's us in a, in, in, all, in all of this? Where 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 is me, us, in all of this? So we, we tend to forget to look after ourselves. I interviewed Amy Lenius a couple of weeks ago, and I do encourage you to go and listen to her interview. It was amazing. But Amy was talking about self-care and uh, her her journey with self-care and how her coach said to her, and now she shares with others, but Amy, what if right if, what if what is right for you is right for everyone? What if looking after yourself means that everyone else gets looked after as well? And that was such a, a, a stop moment for me because I'm the one that will keep going and going and going and giving and giving and giving until I fall in a heap and then I can't give anything anymore. And things start to fall down around me because I haven't really done anyone any favors. I, I, I've i just kept giving of myself and now there's nothing more left to give and I need to go and recharge my battery. So I needed to bring in a self-care routine. And I'm pretty certain if you guys sit down and look at yourselves, and just assess where you're at, you'll think, yeah, I need a self-care routine as well. There's a couple of things to think about with your self-care routine. The first one I'm going to talk about is your health. I'm not a health expert. Uh, I, I, I guess my only real claim to understanding health is that I'm a human and I have a body and I have health issues. <laughs> um, and and I, I know that some of those, a lot of those health issues have been exacerbated because I don't look after myself because I'm too busy running my business. So health is a health related habit in your self-care routine is really, really important. And I'm going to encourage everyone to set a, 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 an objective to create a habit around your own health. Because if you don't have your health, what do you have? Uh, in terms of physical health, we 
setting habits around regular ex- exercise, getting adequate sleep, and having balanced nutrition is really important. They're great foundational habits to start with and to continue. They're going to support your overall well-being. For instance, and as I just spoke about, scheduling daily walks or workouts can keep you physical, physically fit, but it's also going to keep you mentally sharp, believe it or not. Uh, although there are some days I've got to say that, oh my goodness, I hurt so much. <laughs> it's hard to focus. Uh, but schedule, for me, it was, I'm just going to start with 10 minutes and I'm going to walk to the end of the path and back. And that was my, that was mine. Now my goal is to spend 30 day, minutes, 30 days a minute, 30 minutes a day moving my body, not any specific form of exercise because that's going to change day to day depending on how I'm feeling, how my whether I'm really sore and I just need to stretch and do some very light aerobic exercise, cardiovascular exercise, or whether I feel like I can get out and walk for a kilometer or two. But I have a minimum of 30 minutes. Now, most days I will walk for an hour. And I'll get what get do as far as I can in that hour. Uh, but for the day, but for the days when I get out of bed and it's really tough, I, all I need to say to myself is, "You've just got to move thirty minutes. You you've promised yourself you'll do thirty minutes. Do thirty minutes." Most times, by the time I'm out and I'm getting close to that thirty, it's like, "Yeah, I can do further. I can go longer. I'll keep going." So it, it, that that's really helped. But it's also about that accountability to myself. Did you see? You've promised yourself you've done. You'll do this. Uh, so to keep myself accountable, I've got a habit and I've got a, an objective that I need that I want to meet. Not need to. I want to meet. It's uh, the other health related habit that you should look at is your mental health. Uh, and your exercise is going to help some of it, but it's not going to help all of it. And it's not going to help you having being fit and healthy isn't going to help you if your, your, your mind isn't right or if you're not quite, if, if your mental health is not being looked after. So incorporate things like meditation journaling or journaling or mindfulness exercises as well into your daily habits uh the other one that it, i didn't just mention that i do myself is a gratitude practice uh gratitude practices are wonderful and a gratitude practice for those of you that don't find think that meditation or journaling or mindfulness is probably a bit too much at the moment or you're not quite sure where to start start with a gratitude practice say to someone once a day or write down somewhere or even say to yourself, I am grateful for and whatever it is you're grateful for. Today, I'm grateful that I can share this information with you and share part of my journey with you. There you go. That's my gratitude practice for the day. I have a gratitude a gratitude practice. I practice it every day. I, I will in our team discord write down today I am grateful for the sun the other day it was the sun I'd had a couple of days where there was no sun and there was sun out and I'm like so grateful that there's sun sometimes it's I'm so grateful I have a great team sometimes it's I'm grateful that I hear from my kids uh it's simple stuff but being grateful is something that will help rewire so you can see me thinking on this right rewire the brain and give you a little bit more positivity in your in your day so when you're thinking of things that you're grateful for it's a little more difficult to think of the things that are hard in your life only a little bit but you'll find that it changes so health related habits are really important i am going to talk in a couple of minutes about other things you can do that uh, will fill your cup and we'll get that we'll get to that in a moment The other thing that I do want to share before I get to that, though, is that you do need to celebrate your small wins that's going to boost your morale and motivation. Recognition of progress is just such an important thing. It's really no use starting to set these habits and and do these, I'm going to walk for 10 minutes a day or 5 minutes a day or 30 minutes a day and not cell phone or recognize that this is what you've done. And you are doing it. It provides positive reinforcement. It provides motivation. So the positive reinforcement will give you motivation that will keep you going. And that's going to generate momentum. It's going to keep you going and make you want to do more. 
So very important. And I, you know, I'll talk about, I've spoken about this a couple of times. I was talking to dad the other day and my, my, my daughter sent me a Fitbit. I'm not sponsored by Fitbit. I'm not, I, I don't, I, it's not even that I recommend you go out and buy a Fitbit. I just think it's a, I think it's a great tool for me. Uh, and you might find something similar. And if you've got a similar device, I'm sure it's got similar functions. But the Fitbit kind of annoyed me to start with because it's like, oh, congratulations, you've walked 5,000 um, steps. Oh, congratulations, you've walked 15,000. You've done 15,000 steps in a day. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. And now I'm looking at it going, hey, yeah, I did that. I did that 15,000, especially on the days when it's tough. Oh, yeah, I did do 15,000 in a day. I can do 15,000 steps in a day when I want to. So it, it's to me, it's just that continual reinforcement. It's very minor and it wasn't really an in, in, it didn't really impose on me. Uh, and I, once I got over the... <laughs> It was fine. I, I quite like it now. I like it when it buzzes at me and says, yes, you've made your fitness goals for the day. I'm like, oh, cool. It's only 11 o'clock and I've made my fitness goals for the day. Woo <laughs> I'm really happy with that. All right. Now let's have a chat about some of the things that you can do to uh, fill your cup. And we talk about filling the cup. When you are running a business, you are often just pouring things into other people or into your business. You've got to keep the finances going. So you're pouring a bit of your energy into there and then your employee needs help or your team member needs help or they're a little bit down and you want to boost them up. So you, you pour into them and then the kids come in and they need help. So you pour into them. So you've got a cup. You have a cup. And every time you pour a little bit out of that cup, it gets a little emptier and a little emptier and a little emptier. This is you. You have to fill that up so that as you're pouring it out, you've got stuff that you can still pour into them. Okay, that's the existential woo-woo stuff on it. I'm not great at it. Uh, I do understand that, that, that much of the analogy, though. So some of the things that you can do to also help and set some little habits around is identifying and indulging in things that give you small daily pleasures. We can't all get out for a massage every day. We can't all get to the hairdresser and have them wash our hair every day. We really love to. Uh, and sometimes, yeah, you go, I just I just really want I just really want to get to the um chiropractor and and get my my body realigned and I just can't do that yet so there is you've got to find the things that you can take the daily joys in the little things that you can take pleasure in that are going to help you fill that cup uh, taking walks is one thing that's one reason why I actually put the walking in as my fitness goal because it also helps me with my with filling my cup it just helps me all in so many ways I also find that uh, if I'm really really feeling ugh, during a day and I just need to get out and re re recharge I'm going to take a walk take my phone and turn the camera on and just start taking photos of the nature around me and the little birds I see and the, the butterflies and the so many things you can take photos of that are beautiful you could spend a few minutes with a good book you're going to read to you, re you're going to read for 15 minutes a day uh, even if it's not a novel maybe you've got a good self a help book or a self-development book that you want to read and you can spend 15 minutes with that maybe you've got poems that you want to read a, a book of poems and you read a poem a day like something like that that's that's wonderful amy speaks about her ritual of choosing her tea i loved that one she spends some time thinking about what it is she needs right in that moment she looks in her cupboard and she chooses just the right mug and then she looks at her tea and she smells all her teas and she chooses just the right tea then there's the ritual of making the tea and then there's the ritual of drinking the tea and that's part of her routine other things that i have found really good are my skincare routine I wasn't looking after my skin. I wasn't looking after anything, to be perfectly honest. And I found that committing to doing my skincare routine twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, uh, was a struggle because I'm like, oh, what do I need that for? It's fine. Uh, but it was the thing that actually gave me 
a lot of pleasure because a it feels great once you get your face washed and you get your moisturizer on and ah oh, it just feels so good uh even if it, and it only takes me like five minutes at a time cleanser toner moisturizer i'm done i'm good off we go uh but i do that twice a day and that that's helped me feel really good and it's not just that it's helped me feel really good i can see the results of it like me myself i can see the results of it so i have a reach i have a, a habit that or a I have a habit in my tracker yes i have a habit tracker that is da uh, skincare done twice a day daily skincare routine twice a day and i put a little tick in there every time i do it and there have been nights that i'm sitting here getting ready to go to bed like, i haven't done my skincare oh. uh, nope go and do it and i go and do it it's fantastic uh, maybe it's drinking water maybe it's i've got to drink more water and i will do that because that's actually something that's really good for me uh what else have i got here you can personalize your workspace with items too that help you with your own self-care uh, it might be that you put some photos or plants or inspirational quotes around your office or your workspace that you can look at and say yep and maybe the habit that you set is that if you've got inspirational quotes up on the wall you read that inspirational quote once a day just little things like that Okay, so there's some things that you can think of. There's lots of things there that you can turn into habits. I would recommend, and I'm not going to go into how to do that here, and if you want more advice on that, reach out, have a chat to me, or uh, go over and see the guys at Next Level University. Uh, they've got some great stuff around habit tracking too, but you should be tracking your habits so that you can see the improvement that you're making yourself and it's a really visual feedback to yourself and you're going to commit to it and you're going to make yourself accountable even if it's just to yourself so do 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 some habit tracking on all of this as well i might cover that a bit later uh if you want well, like i said if you want more advice please leave comments uh if you want more advice or you want to give me some feedback or you want to give me your thoughts on today's uh, today's episode uh, leave some comments below come across to locals ask charlieleatham.locals.com join the community there and join in the community the communication the conversation uh, if you are watching this or listening to this anywhere where you can leave a review i would appreciate a review uh, i'd like to know what you're thinking so that i can do better content for you do things that are more appropriate and more in line with what you want to hear Please, if you can, like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you find out when I drop more content, and maybe you can make me part of your daily routine as well. These episodes drop daily. You could set it, set it so that the notification goes so that when the episode goes up, you get a, a, a notification on your phone and you can just hit play and listen to me in the background while you're doing whatever it is you're doing. Apart from that, guys, have a great day. I will see you all tomorrow for topic number 213, Adaptability. Bye.